Rob Dogs One says, does this guy even practice anymore or just do podcasts? Yeah, Rob Dogs, I kind of fucking said that I stopped doing clinical medicine because it no longer felt like something I want to do. And now I do this because it feels like something I want to do. And uh, it's funny, your, your comment is actually one of the voices that arise, that used to arise in my head when I would self judge as to, am I making the right decision with what I'm doing? Or shouldn't I continue to be doing clinical practice? I am a doctor, that's my identity. And um, Rob Dogs One, I'm gonna tell you right now, that is a fucking lie. It's a complete story. Identity is a construction. You don't get to tell me what I am. You can question it all you want and that's more story. I don't get to tell me what I am because that's more thought. It's just what this is. And when you stop apparently resisting in thought, what's actually arising, what's expressing in that moment, that's when things seem to click. So you may be like, you know, he doesn't practice anymore and a part of you is just fucking jealous that you don't want to fucking practice full time because it's torture for you, but you're telling yourself a story. Like, no, but I have to do this. Real people do that. Like the real fucking frontline people just practice constantly until they fucking die of uh, burnout or moral injury or whatever it is. And this guy's fucking escaped that and he can fucking suck it. I know, I know how that feels. I used to feel that way about people who did that. Like I'd look at Dr. Oz and be like, that fucking clown. He practices once a week does his surgery, he's making millions of dollars doing this shit. Now I'm like, well, you know what? If Dr. Oz felt like that's who he was, all the more power to him. I don't know, man. Um, Sarah says, uh-oh, you pissed off the Z-Dog. You pissed off the character, that's for sure. Because that, and I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why that pissed me off or that character got pissed off because it was a self-reflection. It was like, this is how I used to treat myself. And how much fucking suffering did I endure because I didn't listen to what the body was telling me, which is you're done with clinical medicine. It's not you. Other people can do it better than you. Why are you still doing it? This is what you do. You're good at this, do this. You love it. It gets you out of bed in the morning. You connect with people. You feel bliss in all the cells of your body. You don't feel that when you're doing a rectal exam, when you're charting an epic, that's not what you feel. You did for many years, that's great, wonderful. It's not you anymore. So it's that internal voice, that self-hatred, self-denial, shame, identity, fixation, that is externalized in the comment. And I feel I felt it right away. I was like, oh, there it is, there's that. Huh? And now I get to actually say what I, what I actually am like what is actually arising in this moment. It's really liberation. It feels fucking free to tell people to fuck themselves. Um, Cause you're really telling yourself, you're telling the voice in your head to fuck off cause you're, you're, it's not real. It's a lie. It's a story like everything. Um, Melissa says the voices that feel like pinpricks are always the ones that echo the ones in your own head. Exactly, right? Exactly. And it's interesting that this has come up only recently, this idea of, oh, do you still practice? Well, this was an ongoing question for me as I was making these decisions about whether to practice or not. So that ongoing voice of like, oh, but you have to, but you have to, keeping your malpractice insurance, doing all of this, spending all this money. It's a lie. It's a fucking identity that you're clinging to because you think you know, society, your parents, yourself, your spouse, whoever, my spouse never cared about this. She told me to quit years ago. She's the clearest seeing in our whole family. Um, but yeah, so it's um, it's beautiful actually when these things are allowed to air out clearly and be felt for what they are. Um, 